After my first two cosplays, I really enjoyed the experience and wanted to go big. So when I heard about the World Cosplay Summit in Japan, I had to join. The rules said it must be two people and both Japanese characters. So after going through all of my friends, only one of them was willing with me to go to Japan if we win. So after securing the friend, now I needed the characters. After a lot of thought, I decided on Platinum End, a manga by the creator of Death Note, which is about suicidal teenagers with angel wings and red arrows and white arrows. The designs are fantastic and the characters are very memorable. Because I'm a narcissist and my favorite color is red, I decided I would be the main character, Mirai Kakehashi. His outfit is mostly red with a lot of glowing bits. And as for my friend, I thought a lot and I wanted him to be the sidekick which is green. However, it was hard to create a sketch for both of these characters and the armor was really hard to make. So I decided that he would be Hajime, who is a minor villain in the series. His design is very simple but iconic and his character is fun with a samurai sword. So after deciding on both of the characters, I needed to do some research, mainly on the wings. Because I'm an overachiever, I wanted to have the wings be mechanical and moving. So I researched into that and found out some tutorials which used PVC pipes and pulleys and strings and so on. So after buying all the equipment, assembling the PVC and adding a hinge, I tested it out and it broke immediately. So I revised the design, bought stronger hinges and it worked slightly. I then went on to make the feathers. For the big feathers, I used fabric with some glue to make them and some actual white feathers I found on Amazon. So after attaching all of the feathers, I tested out the wings and they broke immediately. So once they get to the drawing table, redesign everything and now they slightly work even though they're slow. After that, I decided to make his weapon, which is the red arrow. I wanted it to be like an infinity box or infinity mirror because the design is cool and fits that. So I designed the acrylic pieces, went to a shop to cut them and put some foam around them and put a material that reflects the lights in order to have the 3D effect. So after attaching all of the lights, constructing everything, the effect was meh. Probably because the mirrors aren't very perpendicular so the effect wasn't true or I didn't glue them right. However, it looked cool enough. So I attached a PVC pipe to the arm. After that, I went to the suit. I bought some compression clothes, a sports mask, some reflective fabric, and attached the red fabric and reflective fabric to the suits. And also bought some sports gear for his accessories, like the gloves and the knees, and I painted them. I also cut a slit in the back in order to attach the wings. And after that, I went to Hajime. I bought a foam katana and some white fabric, and I cut them, then glued them on the suit to create the tattered mummy-like look or as my friend calls it, toilet paper, which is probably accurate to Hajime's character. So after making all of that, making the hood, I created the halos around the neck and the hands, one red and one blue using EL wire, which worked very well and I was very happy with the results. I'll probably use them again for other projects. After that, I decided on the sketch would be some kind of dialogue and then fighting. So I gathered some free music for the fighting and choreographed it with my friend. So after we rehearsed everything, we went to the convention and I proudly showed off my wings and they immediately broke upon opening. And of course because it was at the convention, I couldn't really fix them, so I took my losses and kept them down the whole time. They still looked good, but not as good as I wanted. And then we went on stage for our part and we did this sketch. Certain suicidal demons to turn them into god candidates. They must fight using wings and red arrows that control love and white arrows that control death. Our hero is Mirai Kehashi, codenamed Red, an average student.
is this emotion? Is this love? This man, I... I... I love him. Overall, I was very proud of our performance and people liked it. So I hope that we win. And... We lost. Like horribly, not even second place or at all. Some vocal cosplayers won. Which is probably for the best cause it was my third cosplay, there were a lot of strings, mistakes, hot glue. Overall it was not that good. It looked visually appealing but it wasn't that good. But in the end I'm very happy with these cosplays. They look really visually appealing, especially the reflective fabric and I had some photographer friends take photos and they looked amazing. Hajime also looked really good accurate to the part. And it was fun to cosplay with that other person and make two cosplays which is an interesting experience. And thank you for watching.